Hi everyone! Today I want to share with you how to plant daffodils. Daffodils are one of my favorite spring flowers. Watching their foliage push through the earth after a long cold winter brings such excitement, beauty, and joy to the garden. And if you ask me, their reliable nature just can't be beat. They're not fussy about soil type, return reliably year after year, they make excellent cut flowers, and best of all, they're deer and rabbit resistant. Now, daffodil bulbs are hardy in zones three through eight, and they multiply each year, so you get an even bigger and better show the longer they're in the ground. And you can plant daffodils just about anywhere. They look beautiful when grown in mass in a flower border, naturalized in lawn, or even in a cheerful spring container. You can even plant daffodils in cutting gardens and enjoy buckets of daffodil blooms to arrange with inside your home. And daffodils Daffodils come in a wide variety of colors, forms, and bloom times. And although that classic bright yellow Dutch master daffodil is a winner, there's also beautiful and more subtle shades of ivory, peach, and even pink to choose from. Some of my personal favorite daffodils have stunning double blooms, while others have clusters of flowers on a single stem and can even carry a delightful fragrance. By planting multiple varieties of daffodils with varying bloom times, you can have a wide range of daffodils to enjoy in the garden and cut and bring inside your home. Planting daffodils is fun and easy and should be done in the fall or early winter for blooms the following spring. The great thing is they're not particular about site location, so you can plant them in either full to even part sun. As long as the planting area is well draining, your daffodils will be successful. Plant daffodil bulbs six inches deep and five inches apart with the pointy side of the bulb facing up. Then simply cover the bulbs with soil and water the planting area if the soil is dry. Depending on where you're planting your daffodils, you might want to dig just one large hole and plant multiple daffodil bulbs in that hole and then cover it back up. But if you're planting individual daffodils in the lawn or in a flower border, sometimes a bulb planter that makes the perfect size hole for a daffodil bulb or any bulb for that matter can be really useful. And that's really all there is to it. In spring, you'll be greeted with a beautiful floral show that you can enjoy out in the garden garden or cut and bring inside the home. Now, after your daffodils are done blooming, it's important to allow the foliage to die back naturally. This replenishes the bulb and gives it the necessary fuel to create next year's flowers and to multiply for more blooms in upcoming years. Some people find the yellowing and eventual browning of daffodil leaves unsightly, but this can easily be disguised by surrounding your daffodils with other plants who will grow around them and hide this important natural process. Now after five to ten years you may notice that your daffodils are not blooming with the vigor that they once did in years past. This is a good indication that your daffodil clumps have become overcrowded and it's time to divide them. And you should divide your daffodils in late spring to very early summer. Simply dig up the clump, separate the bulbs, and plant them wherever you like in your garden. With each passing year the daffodil show gets bigger, better, and more beautiful. Well, I sure hope this video was helpful and from all of us here at Longfield Gardens, happy gardening. Bye!